Look at that. You can bounce on beds now. Oh my goodness. That's so cool. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What is that? Mean? Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Vuo here on Hardcore No Diamond Episode 2. Uh, this is the series where I play hardcore mode on Minecraft while trying to survive without diamonds. Uh, and so, <laughs> since the last episode, as you can see, I have got my, gotten myself some iron armor just as a kind of a prerequisite. Uh, I want to kind of be able to do stuff uh, in between episodes so that it's not super boring for all you. Uh, just like the grindy stuff, like maybe like building like huge houses or huge projects or whatever. Um, and other stuff like uh, exploring, finding places to do stuff and stuff, I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, we're gonna see how it goes. Uh, this is where I have decided to start off myself for the second episode. Uh, I have dug out this little mine of mine. I got down to like level 23 or something. I forgot. Uh, but yeah, I did that and I got a little bit more of it. No, I didn't actually. I was th I thought I did more of the floor, but I didn't. So <laughs> I guess uh, that'll be a project for today or maybe next episode or before next episode. But right now it's getting to be nighttime, so I'm gonna go take a nap. And sorry for my voice, everyone. My um, my uh, voice or my uh, diaphragm or whatever has trouble doing stuff. I guess after I ran quite a bit, so uh, that's gonna be an issue if I record in a video right after re running. Um, so I guess I'm going to have to deal with that. Sorry if it causes you any problems. It shouldn't, but. Hopefully it doesn't. Okay. But yeah, I'm gonna need a little bit more torches here. I want to make this little island here uh, next to uh, my spawn, even though I'm not gonna be spawning here ever. Um, a little bit more safe so that I can just like kind of log in and out in this whole area uh, kind of peacefully, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of already safe though because uh, we, we have like separation from other land sources. Like uh, this is just a little peninsula, I guess is what it's called. I don't know. I forgot. It's like a little little uh, stick out of a, of an island or body of land um, that is kind of surrounded by water so we are hopefully kind of safe but with the aquatic update I'm not really sure exactly what everything brings into the picture so we're gonna have to see for, for that ourselves um, but yeah sorry for the lateness of this upload I was planning on getting this out like a day after um, I uploaded my first episode of Hardcore No Diamond, but, uh, that obviously didn't happen, and that was due to, like, school starting and stuff, but, um, I, I had, like, mental issues, too, so I had to deal with that, and, um, I guess that's basically it. Honestly, I'm getting my life together, and hopefully that includes this series, so I'm gonna be doing that, uh, in the meantime, so... Yeah, thanks everyone for waiting, and uh, thanks for tuning in for second episode. So this episode I really wanted to get some um, some materials to build another portal around here. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna make a water source thing right there. Um, but before we do that, I'm not sure if I have a bucket. We'll see if I have a bucket right now. Um, I think uh, I'm going to just look into some caves to see if I could find some lava so I can get up uh, another portal or whatever um, pretty easily. I guess I'm gonna make like three buckets and that'll be fine. Um, all right, sounds good. And we'll be on our way. So it seems like in this cave that I just had, like the first one that I came into, um, right here at the end of the thing, I can hear some lava. Wait, Let me see if I can hear it again. Yeah, it's right there. Okay, so that's that's I'm super lucky, honestly. Like this is this is the best thing I could find right now. Oh, uh, yeah, it's right there. Okay, so yeah, that's exactly what I need because I just need lava and water to make the obsidian for another portal. Um, and this <laughs> this is really close to home. So where whatever I need obsidian for, this is gonna be probably my go-to cave. Actually, there's something in that corner. I'm gonna probably look at that and come back here see if it's anything worthwhile it's probably not honestly huh oh 
Whoa, okay, that is a... That's a deep cave. <laughs> um, I don't think I need that right now, so I'm just going to kind of light it up a little bit, then leave it, I guess. That's super cool, though. All right. Thanks, Minecraft Generation. You've been very uh, helpful, I guess. Now, what I think, where I think I want to put the Nether portal is probably just right here because it's not directly close to the house, but it's like pretty much accessible, and it kind of has a background already prepared for it. So I guess that that's kind of ideal. Um, so yeah, just right here seems pretty good to me. Um, actually, do we want to? I think we're gonna build it into the thing a little bit, um, build it into the like, hill right here, so it'll look a little bit more natural. Um, that does, I don't know, something like that. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Like uh, something like this is what I'm talking about. Looks like that's the last of the lava, but uh, I think that what I'm going to be doing right when I get into the nether is just to like play it safe. Um, I'm going to try and just go in, check my surroundings, and then teleport right back into the overworld because um, I'm kind of I'm, I'm kind of worried that there might be something a little bit more dangerous than I uh, thought about. Uh, in the nether since the last updates because I'm not really used to this uh, new update so I don't know if they've done anything cha like major to the nether maybe there might be like something super dangerous in the nether and I just don't know about it yet um, but yeah that that right now is the plan of action and it looks like we got all of the obsidian so all we need to do now is get the um, flint and steel and we'll be on our way set to go that looks pretty dang cool. <laughs> I was not expecting that at all, but like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to probably, I don't know if like fire transmits from when you're in the nether to the overworld. So I'm going to put just like a water bucket right here and I'm going to dig out this thing right here just for a little pathway. Sounds good. Looks good. I'm probably going to deck this out a little bit later, just like to make it a little bit better I guess eh that doesn't look good whatever I'll just do that later <laughs> um all right let's check it out Ooh. yeah that's great uh excuse me um this didn't usually take very long it might be because of what's what I'm wearing I don't know that has anything to do with it but um maybe i don't know i'll widen my load a little bit we'll see what actually happens uh i have no idea come on come on this gotta be it's gotta be something i can do here hopefully it's not my computer doing something strange because i don't think that that's possible but i don't know i guess anything is possible we're gonna take some blocks in actually, just so I can like barricade myself in if I need to. And looks like that's all I need. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna sleep first, just in case. You never know. I can only sleep at night. Come on, man. It's almost night. Come on. You know it's gonna be night. Some people like to go to bed early. Whatever. I'll just wait. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa! Look at that! You can bounce on beds now! Oh my goodness! That's so cool! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What if I, um... This is, this is actually, this is actually amazing. Oh, it actually, it's like a little slime block! Hang on. Will it actually negate my fall damage? <gasps> it does! A little bit. It, like, it makes it a little bit more safe. 
that's so cool. Uh, I think there's something wrong with my world generation. Yeah, that's probably why my nether portal isn't working. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and save and quit and then come back, see if that works. See if that fixes anything. Okay. Okay, the blocks seem to be responding fine now. So, hopefully once it turns night, it should be okay to continue. But yeah, that's going to be super helpful if I'm going to like make like a, a big building or whatever that I need to go up and down very often than uh, just having a bed at the bottom or whatever just in case it's going to be really helpful um, just in case I don't know I don't know what it'll actually kill me uh, from like a tall distance if I'm wearing armor or not but we'll see all right on my way to the nether I'm gonna put on my armor again just in case my dude all right all right this is the real deal now okay Showing world, loading terrain. Oh. <laughs> Holy heck. Now this looks pretty dang cool. Um, oh yeah, I'm getting lag now because... Uh, I think it's the terrain generation or it could be the animated blocks, but uh, it shouldn't be the animated blocks. Those don't take too much processing power. That guy's looking at me. Fr strange. Um, doesn't seem like there's anything major change about the nether, but it's always good to be cautious. Um, alright, well, I don't know if it actually changes anything if I light it up, but I'm doing it anyway, just cause. Uh, and yeah, this seems like a really nice spawn. Like, uh, I'm not exposed to anything super dangerous, except for that. Um, uh... There's no gas that can attack me, hopefully. There's some quartz right off the bat. Um, I'm probably going to wait till I get fortune on something because I want to use quartz in a lot of my buildings uh, just to, I don't know, make it cool. <laughs> make it all white and stuff. Um, glowstone looks different in this pack. Looks like, oh, nether warts. That's a lot of... Uh, is this nether wards? I don't know what this is. I'm really worried that things are going to attack me though. If I uh... If I do anything to this. So I'm going to... Um... I'm going to do this. Just in case. What is this? What is this? Brown mushroom. Oh, they shouldn't be mad at me. Yeah, I remember mushrooms like that spawned in the nether, but... I just couldn't figure out what that was. I don't know. I thought it looked like nether warts in this texture pack, so I was uh, I was really confused. But um, I might want to take some soul sand and some netherrack just in case. Um, plus, netherrack is yeah, netherrack can make it so that I can um, burn fire indefinitely. All right, all right. Hopefully, these guys don't get mad at me. They're not mad at me. I'm gonna take another. One. Okay, another, another. Ah, uh, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I don't want to die here. We're finished here. Let's go back. First, let's construct a little pathway. Because that's fancy, right? Ooh, nice. Alright. That was so... That was very fun. I didn't think I was actually going to make it into the nether today. Um, but I did. So that's, uh, that's always a good thing. But a torch I had was dismantled for some reason. Um, hopefully that's nothing important. But, alright, alright. One thing I want to do is make an underwater base because with this... Oh, there's a turtle. Ah, there's a turtle. Okay, Um, I wonder if I can find... That's so cool. What? These fish... Okay, but, okay, back to what I was saying. I want to make an underwater base uh, because of the aquatic update and whatever it brings with it. There's a bunch of uh, new mobs, new uh, things that I could actually do in the in the underwater world. Um, so I kind of want to do something like that uh, just because of what has been added. And I've always, like, since I started Minecraft, actually have... Uh, I've, I've always wanted to actually have, like, a legitimate um, underwater base thing. Um, let's see if I can delete this turtle from existence. <laughs> Sorry, turtle. 
sorry. Okay, what what I get? What I get? Seagrass. That's not good. Okay. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, yeah, I want to do that. That'll be definitely one of my goals in this series. Um, so basically, the reason why I killed that turtle was because uh, if you gather enough materials, you can make a helmet that gives you like underwater breathing or whatever. Um, and that would be, that would have been easier with an enchantment, but honestly, an enchantment isn't very good for me right now, I guess, because I don't have any diamonds and it's going to be hard to get enchantments. So, uh, that's, that's my option right now. That's what I'm deciding to do. Um, I might next episode try to find some turtle stuff to do that, or I might try to work towards getting a, uh, underwater base set up because that's pretty cool. But I might just save that for another series I'm going to be starting up, and that's going to be called the Mindful SMP series because I'm joining an SMP, guys, and it is an amazing SMP with amazing people on it, and I'm super hyped to start that up. Uh, so, yeah, thanks to everyone for watching. Uh, that's probably where I'm going to be doing all of my uh, little experiments and and stuff in Minecraft so I don't have to be dying in this world ever, hopefully. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing. So yeah, if you guys like the video, please leave a like. If you want to subscribe, do that. My name is Vilo, and I'll see you guys next time.